Here's a question from the 2016 Indian Math Olympiad that I think you're really gonna like. Find n such that n is equal to two times the sum of the digits of n squared. So try it on your own and let me know in the comments if you're able to solve it. Or you can just watch me solve it. Okay, so just so we're familiar with this notation, ooh, and I got a good marker going today. S of, let's say, 97. Okay, so that would be nine plus seven. So the way this works is you, is you find the digits base 10 and, and you add them up. Okay, so the sum of the digits of 97 is nine plus seven, which is 16. Okay, so the first thing we should note is that nine divides any number minus the sum of its digits. So this isn't hard to prove, but you know, maybe we sh you should prove it on your own, okay? So nine divides uh, any number minus the sum of its digits. But in this particular case, n is equal to two times the sum of its digits squared. So nine divides two s of n squared minus s of n, right? And this has a factor of s of n in it. So nine divides s of n times two s of n minus one. Okay, make sure you believe that. And what else? Well, these two factors are relatively prime. Their greatest common factor is one. So they're relatively prime. So what's the point? Well, that means that nine either divides S of n or nine divides two S of n minus one. If these weren't relatively prime, it's possible that you could have three goes into one of them and three goes into the other one. But we don't have to worry about that case because they're relatively prime. Okay, so we'll deal with that eventually. Now let's put a limit on how big n could be because we don't wanna be checking infinitely many numbers. That would take a long time. So let's let k equal the number of digits of n. Okay, so what does this mean? This means that n is greater than or equal to 10 to the k minus one, right? If n, let's say, was a five-digit number, then it's greater than 10,000, greater than or equal to 10,000. We could also put an upper bound on n, but we don't, we don't need that, okay? And we can put a bound on the size of two s of n squared, because what's the biggest it could be is all nines. All right, so two s of n squared is less than or equal to two times, well, if these are all nine. So if all k of the digits are nine, so that's nine k squared, which is equal to 162 k squared. Okay, and so this gives us a bound for n. It also gives us a bound for two s of n squared. And we're gonna use this to show that k could be at, at most four. So let's write that as a claim and then we'll prove it. So our claim is that k must be less than or equal to four. So the number of digits of n cannot exceed four. All right, and again, throughout this video, feel free to pause it and, and try to finish um, you know, any point along the way. Because you, you'll learn better when you try it on your own. You know, watching people solve problems is great and all, but actually doing the problems on your own is a, is a good way to learn. Okay, so the claim is that k is less than or equal to four. So let's break it into two cases. The first case is if k is greater than or equal to six, then what happens? Well then, two s of n squared, which we said is less than or equal to 162 k squared, well, that's strictly less than, and then we would need to prove this by induction, but that's a, another homework assignment for you. This is strictly less than 10 to the k minus one. So prove this on your own using induction. It's not hard, which is less than or equal to n. Okay, but that's a contradiction because we said that n is equal to two s of n squared. So it cannot be the case that k is greater than or equal to six. All right, the, the k equals five case is even easier. So if k equals five, then what happens? Well, two s of n 
squared is going to be less than or equal to 162 times 5 squared. Which I worked out to be 4,150. Its exact value isn't terribly important. What's the point? It doesn't have enough digits. So this is less than 10 to the fourth, which is less than or equal to n. Okay, and so that's another contradiction. Since we have this strict inequality, we ca it cannot be the case that 2 s of n squared is equal to n. Okay, so we know that k has to be less than or equal to 4. So let me clean this up, and then we'll deal with that case. Okay, so we know that k has to be less than or equal to 4, and that implies that s of n is less than or equal to 36, right? If we had a four-digit number of all nines, that's the biggest that s of n could be. And so let's look at these two cases that I mentioned earlier. Either 9 divides s of n or 9 divides 2 s of n minus 1. There's going to be a number of numbers that satisfy either of those properties, and then we'll check which ones satisfy the property we care about, and then we'll be done. Okay, so let's, let's check uh, if 9 divides s of n. So what are the possible values of s of n? It could be, well, it can't be 0. Um, well, I mean, I guess. I guess it could be 0, right? 0 satisfies this. But let's say we're, we're looking at positive numbers. It could be 9, 18, 27, or 36, right? So we have 9, 18, 27, or 36. Yeah, I should have been, I should have been more specific. Um, this should be uh, positive numbers to satisfy this. OK, and so if, if s of n is equal to these values, then 2 s of n squared would be, well, I worked this out off camera, 162, 648, 1458, and 2592. OK, and so these are candidates for n. So these are candidates for the solution of our problem. So we just want to check if n were equal to 162, is it the case that if you take the sum of its digits, square it and multiply by 2, you get back to where you start. Well, let's see. 162, the sum of those digits is 9. Square it, multiply by 2, you get back to 162. So this is a solution to the problem. 648, the sum of the digits is 18. Square it, multiply by 2, you get 648. So that's another solution to the problem. So there's a couple of solutions. 1458. If you take the sum of the digits, you get 18. Square multiplied by 2, you get 648. So you do not get back to what you start with. And then you could check that you do not get back with what you start with for this one either. OK, so in this case of the 9 divides s of n, we have two solutions. So I'll write those up here. So now we want to consider the case if 9 divides 2 s of n minus 1. OK, and again, we, we just want to go through and check what the possible values of s of n are. Right, the biggest s of n could be is 36. So there's not many that we have to check. So the possible values of s of, s of n are 5. Right, That would be 2 times 5 minus 1 is 9. Uh, 14 would be the next one. Really, we're just going to keep adding 9. 23 is the next one. And then last is 32. OK, and we're going to do the same thing. Square it, multiply by 2. So 2 s of n squared would be 50. Again, I worked these out off camera. 392, 1058 and 2048, the famous uh, video game, 2048. OK, and we'll do just as before, we'll check. Are any of these numbers solutions? And it's possible that some of them are. So 50, the sum of the digits of 50 is, is 5 plus 0. So 5 squared is 25, multiplied by 2, we get back to 50. So 50 is a solution. 
392, the sum of the digits is 14. Square it, multiply by two, we get 392. So that's another solution. 1058, the sum of the digits is 14. So if you square it and multiply by two, you get 392. So this is not a solution. And then as earlier, that's also not a solution. Okay, and so we found the solutions. N is equal to uh, 50, 162, 392, or 648. Those are the only solutions. So let me know what you think. If you like these Olympiad questions, I'm happy to do more. And uh, let me know if anybody's from India and if, if you've done the Indian uh, math Olympiad. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.